Hey, welcome everybody. I am DJ Clean and today it's the unboxing of the Autophone VNL cartridge plus some performance test because we ain't just gonna open them and look at them. We're gonna put them to work. Hey, so in this video I'll share the unboxing but not only we'll do a comparison of the VNL against the Concorde Autophone Digital, the Scratch Mar 2 as well as the world famous Shure M447. Yes, the M447 is discontinued but remains and are still seen as the best needles when it comes to scratching. Sure were my favorite at some point, not because of the design or anything but just because they were not skipping and not uh, damaging too much the records. So setting up the VNL weight, it is recommended to have 4 grams, I'll set mine to 4, which is something I usually do once and then I don't touch it. First impression is uh, the output gain. It is lower than what I was used to with the Autophone Concorde. It will require me to push the gain on the mixer and for some reason I don't like that when I'm mixing with real vinyl. So here we go, we start the test with the Shure M447. They are worn out, sorry about that. The sound quality is terrible but you'll see it still holds the records pretty good. So I'm going really hard on the test. Both hands, you'll see the, the camera shaking, the table is moving. I am really putting them over the edge and testing their limits. I will never be as hard on a routine. Uh, this is really for uh, the test. So considering they are really worn out, I still think they are holding pretty good. You hear some skips here and there. Still holding pretty good for the hydroplane. So now let's move on to the uh, VNL. So it is holding uh, better than the shore. Check it out now. Illustrate the up. The up. The up. Let's move on to the uh, Concorde Autophone Digital. I I prefer the sound quality of those for some reason. Uh, I think it's more complete. It probably has a, a higher range of frequencies. Again, I'm going hard on it. I think it's still holding the record pretty good, but you can hear some skips. So for now, I would think it's, it's holding less than the VNL, but better than the Shure. Check it out now. Illustrate the uh, check it out now. Now let's go to the Autophone Concord Scratch. They have about two years, so they are a little bit worn out. We hear some skips here. Back to 
with the VNL. Here is a little scratch routine I made. So my conclusion will be that for scratching, the VNLs are the best. If mixing with Serato, no difference at all, but maybe the VNL are the best because you don't care about sound quality and output gain. If you want to keep some versatility and like to play with vinyls, I would recommend the Autophone Concord, either digital or scratch that I tested, because both of them have a high output and good sound quality, as well as a good compromise on holding on the records. They skip, but only when you go hard on them. Also, the VNL comes with three stylus. I tested the three of them, and the number one, which I believe will be soft, are the ones that skip the less, number three being the most unstable. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.